Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and it's going to be on the other A team, the Anaheim Ducks, as we're going to do their offseason report and look at their draft pick that they have coming into this year, as well as their team. And look at guys that had a successful season that are going to carry into next season. When it comes to them, they have 14 of 23 contracts, or 14 of 23 roster sizes, excuse me, 30 of 50 contracts. The current cap space, it says, is 39 um, They have two first round picks this year's draft and two second round picks plus three second-round picks to play around with in next year's draft, and two-thirds that you could use if you see a guy that you like to trade with this year's draft because people are really piping up next year's draft and underrating this year's draft, in my own opinion. But when it comes to the Anaheim Ducks, I have to presume like they've been trying to do the last couple of years, whether they'll succeed this year or not. They'll probably try to move on from Adam Henrique again. He actually had a solid season last year production-wide, 19 goals, 23 apples, 42 points in 58 games. So, for that, you could actually potentially maybe move on from him when he only has a couple years at 5.825, especially if they eat like a mil maybe, and he's in the four-something million dollar range. If he's able to produce that, he hasn't been a squeaky clean defensive player like he was able to have some solid defensive years earlier in his career, but if maybe he can get back to that with a different team. Uh, Maxime Comtois is a guy I would keep around if I'm them. He's still a guy, a bigger boy, that sometimes those guys take to 24, 25 to develop. He's not even there yet. Lutterstrom is a guy I would definitely keep around if I'm them. Derek Grant's a guy that basically is a bounce-around player, but it had a solid season for them. I wouldn't say good. I would say okay, solid season. He did do okay 15-14 when it came to goals and assists, but overall wasn't the best season. Max Jones is still trying to find his way in the NHL. Same comes with Sammy Steele. And then Sam Carrick's just kind of a journeyman that filled in pretty nicely last year, so you can replace him. But um, I think this team... The, the UFAs, they don't have any guys they really have to worry about. They're all just guys like the Simones, Anton Reese's, Jerry May, who's the Carricks, the Pe Greg Petterin, or uh, Brogan Rafferty. Um, and uh, those guys are not essential players whatsoever. So I think um, this team is in a good spot. They're in a good spot to be able to spend. They got some good, solid guys like Tracy in the minors, Perot, uh, Kinged Up, um, Badini as well, who's. Uh, guy that's <clears throat> um, a pretty big boy himself and a guy that might be able to be at least a fourth line player for you. So they got some good stuff obviously at the fence. I still think Gouley's going to be a guy that'll be good by the time he's 25, 26 at least as a third pair. Actual Anderson's a guy that's going to be a solid defenseman in my own opinion. Zell Wieger's a guy that definitely should be a good defenseman in this league given time to develop. He's only 18 freaking years old so I would say by 21 he'll be a good defenseman in this league. Uh, Drew Hellison they also have as well. So they had good defense prospects. They have a hell of a goalie prospect in Dossel and a very good second one as well in Erickson Eck. Um, Roman Durney um, is okay as well. Uh, he's not a bad goaltender prospect. It's just I would put those two on the pedestal ahead of him and then maybe he'll be a guy that surprises and becomes like a Corolla or Malka or something like that. Uh, but they also have Callie Klein that they were able to get in a trade. So their goaltending and defense prospect pool looks freaking immaculate. And that's a huge building point when you're able to build a team that you want to get going in the right direction. So I think the Ducks are slowly but surely moving in the right direction. They're not moving in the same quick pace direction to say the New York Rangers were able to do to be able to get to the conference finals this year and have great freaking success. But they're moving in a good direction. I think they're moving in maybe a bit faster of a direction of the Coyotes. I said the Coyotes I think will be good again and start building up in about three years. And yes, I know a lot of people are going to be surprised at tape, but look at their damn prospect pool and look at how they're starting to develop some guys like the Krauses if they keep them around. Keller had a bounce back year with Torney. I think he's going to get the ship going in the right direction. I also think Eakins can get the ship going in the right direction here. And they got a good prospect pool that's budding, especially on defense. Veerbeek, if he's going to be able to continue to be able to build in the right direction, he has two firsts and two seconds, so he has a good chance there. And three, yeah, three seconds in next year's draft, which is stacked, and two thirds and a first. So he's going to have a chance to continue to build it there. So I think they're going to have a good chance in these next couple of years to build the team in the right direction. But I think they also have a good chance in this offseason. But this offseason reports more just about the over encompassing guys that I think they should keep, get rid of, just like I did the Arizona one. Plus, on just talking about how good their coach and management or bad they've done for these teams. And when it comes to the Ducks and Coyotes, even though they have had some bleak seasons in recent years, especially the Coyotes. I think there's positives coming for both franchises and the Ducks. I think they could come sooner. Like next year, I think you're going to see this team be much closer to 500 and then really build from that. So I would say they're in more of a two-year process, maybe even a two years they'll be in the postseason. I think the Coyotes are more three, four years to be in the postseason, if we want to put it that way. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Or above them, easy to do it. Keep us growing to the goal of 260 or more. 
by the start of July. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.